Salbury Hill was the main generator vortex to move the blocks. Salbury Hill was built exactly like the step pyramid at Saqqara. Saqqara was the place where people like the men who used the rods of Ptah were trained. And interestingly enough, as they moved these blocks, their arms glowed green. So that is why the music that is used to move these blocks is the Celtic green sleeves. Where it gets its name, as they would stick the rod of Ptah into a platform and move the blocks, the heavy blocks, down a walkway, they actually played the music of green sleeves. The next temple you see is Ahimhotep's temple in Egypt. And you can see that these two temples are built very similarly. This is Merlin's Mound. The way you move blocks is by creating a residence. In Egypt it was done differently, but here where they built the womb, it was done by bouncing energy back and forth between these two mounds. It's very similar. If you put your hand in a tub of water and move the water to one side, when it hits the side, it creates a bigger wave. Then as it hits the other side of the tub, tub, it creates a bigger wave. As you move and add power at the wave crest, you create a larger wave, and this is called residence. Once they got this residence going between the two mounds, you can see on the hillsides, like West Kennet Burl and East Kennet Burl, how they actually move the blocks. I am standing on top of West Kennet Mound overlooking Silbury Hill. It is positioned so that the energy off of Silbury Hill could be shot down through this mound. Many people say it is a burial mound. In the beginning it was never a burial mound. Later on it may have become a burial mound, but it was a tube to create a solitron. A solitron is a vortex sideways. The top of Silbury Hill creates what we call a standing columnar wave. Many people also call standing columnar waves scalar waves. And as you create it to a correct residence, you can shoot that residence down to a sideways scalar wave, which many people call a solitron. Then this energy was shot over to the sanctuary. The sanctuary was a series of revolving electrical devices. And this is how, when they quarried the blocks, they could resonate the block from the quarry, which was just very close to Silbury Hill, and with four men with a rod of Ptah, carry that down. They built the Avery first in the shape of a womb. Then they built Stonehenge. They have a wood henge, which we'll see later, near Stonehenge. The wood henge was first designed so that they knew how to place the stones so that they actually could create a vortex which would control the whole grid of the planet. What was necessary here was after the destruction of Atlantis, the people on Earth had an, a large, huge amount of energy come down, and they cracked the Earth. So it was necessary to build Stonehenge as a place where they could record the tip and tilt of the earth. But as you stand here on West Kennet Mound, you can actually see how they generated this energy to move these blocks. <laughs> 